Hi Aquarius, welcome to your quantum reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, just kind of keep in mind these are general readings, so if something doesn't resonate with you, it's probably not your message, so keep that in mind. This is going to be for Aquarius Sun, Moon, or Rising, and also welcome to my Cross Watchers. And um, if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one -on -one reading, my information is located down below in the description box. You can email me to message for more details. And also, if you guys would like to make a good karma donation, that information is also located down below. So thank you for those who have donated. I appreciate that so much. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, commenting. Um, I definitely look through all your comments, so thank you guys for participating in all those ways. I'm really enjoying doing these. So let's see what energies are coming up for you, Aquarius, over the next week. Oh, they're saying that one. Ooh, we've got the Hanged Man or um, Perspective card. So definitely... Aquarius, I feel like this next week you're going to get a big perspective shift, okay? Or, again, I'm going to clarify this. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to take both of those. So we've got the Queen of Wands, or Queen of Fire, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so this is an interesting combination. I feel like there's a couple things I'm going to pick up on this. Okay, there, there's a couple of different scenarios here I'm picking up on. Aquarius, this could be a person in your experience, could be a fire sign, it could be Aries Leo Sagittarius that you are getting a perspective shift about, okay, or someone helping you get a perspective shift um, over maybe feeling like a little blocked, okay? Maybe you're feeling like a little bit of a lack mentality, and this has been such a common theme this week. I feel like people are kind of going through this thing of uh, maybe you're like being really frugal. You feel kind of stuck in a phase where you're feeling kind of blocked from prosperity, from like money flowing into your experience or something along those lines. Or you're just like feeling protective in some way, shape, or form. Or the last thing that I'm picking up with this is that this is you stepping into this power, like, and this is where the perspective shift is coming from. So it's kind of, ooh, that is what I'm picking up on. Okay, so Aquarius, this is what it is. So this is the perspective shift, is deciding to step out of this, like, guarded, protective energy and step into your power, like, decide this week, I feel like it's about you deciding that you're going to take power back over your life and not feel like you have to be guarded against people or, and maybe even in finances, like if you need to take power over your finances, I'm kind of feeling that big time. Oops. Sorry. Those were, are those the cards I do next? Well, that's what's happening. Okay. <laughs> so let's see what comes out to kind of clarify this. This is Kind of a major player. Okay, so we've got the Hierophant. Okay, so there's a couple of things with this card, Aquarius. So first of all, you are being watched over, okay? Like this is a major arcana. The thing that I'm getting with this, which is really interesting, is like you can see there's these keys on here. You've got to understand that you have the keys within you to create change in your environment. If you're feeling stuck in some way, like that you've got to be frugal, that you're not having a flow of abundance, you've got to take power over yourself and understand that you have the key to create anything that you want. And we've got the star on the bottom. So I can see completely with this combination, Aquarius, I can definitely see you've been through a lot. The star card literally does not come out unless you have been through hell. Like it's the dark night of the soul and it's like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. It's like hope in a situation. Um, the other thing I'm seeing too with this combination, I mean, these, this is big energy. We've got major arcana, major arcana, major arcana. So Aquarius, I can see that there's definitely a big shift 
that's going on. We've got Ace of Pentacles on the bottom, okay? So I can see that there's like, there's this new beginning here. Maybe new material, maybe new wealth coming into your experience. It could be even like a new home. Um, let me just see what else comes up to clarify this. Hold on. But the Hierophant also is kind of about getting structured in the way you do things, okay? It's about traditions. And the thing that I'm seeing for this week, since this is just a, since this is just a general weekly reading, so this is kind of the advice I'm hearing is, Aquarius, if you get really structured about your daily routines, it will really help you to feel like you're stepping out of this stuck phase, okay? It'll help you feel like you're stepping back into your power is by um, kind of creating a structure for yourself throughout the day. And I know people always say that, oh, like the beginning of the day is the most important. And yes, it is. Like the more disciplined you get with yourself about your morning routines, your structures, like maybe get up and work out and meditate and kind of have a structure for yourself that you know works for you, you'll create a momentum of brain chemical releases that are very empowering. And that's going to help you really um, switch out of this phase where you're feeling stuck. Ooh, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Yet, yeah, boom, like, look at all these major arcanas. So the wheel is definitely turning in your favor, Aquarius. And then I've got the Six of Pentacles on the bottom. Now, I want to bring that up because this is going to be key to stepping out of this Four of Pentacles energy, okay? Four of Pentacles is all about, like, like keeping everything into yourself. Like, it's about being frugal because you're like, oh my gosh, like, I don't have enough. Like, maybe you feel like you don't have enough money. And this is the solution. You've got to step into a mindset where you feel like you're abundant, and give in places where you feel you can. Because once you start feeling more empowered that there's enough resources and things to go around in the universe, you will completely transform that Four of Pentacles energy where you're feeling like there's not enough. And what did I just say? You'll transform. So there's a death card that's about transformation, okay? I'm going to take both of these because they're popping out to me. Actually, in that one too. Okay, so Aquarius, this, this is huge, huge energy. Like I said, this is transformation. The wheel is turning in your favor. Like with that star card there, there's hope here. Uh, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Here's the wheel turning in your favor. I can definitely see you've been through a lot, okay? And you're going to be transforming. And here's you stepping into material abundance right here. Boom. And here we've got manifestations, okay? So Aquarius, big time. I'm going to put that off to the side and pull just a few more clarifiers for here on the bottom. But honestly, Aquarius, like this is looking really amazing. But it, I think it goes back to what I said about that that four of pentacles and the six of pentacles energy um just make sure that you step back into your power okay you've got to decide to take power over the things that you feel like um kind of rule you or control you look at that we've got the world card this is huge huge energy aquarius it's interesting too pisces pulled out the world the world card so I can see that there might be a connection there if you have any type of connection to Pisces, okay? Um, also, I feel like, like I said, this either could be you stepping into some type of material abundance. Like, like I said, you take power over yourself. Like start tapping into your passions and um, like I said, stepping into that power. I feel like you could step into this power of like material abundance right here with this king of pentacles or this also could be an actual person in your experience it could be an earth sign um and it doesn't even look there's a magician again like this is insane this is insane like this is so many freaking major arcanas so Aquarius yeah like I said so this could be an earth sign in your experience could be Capricorn Taurus Virgo that could be um helping you out in some way shape or form or it's just like 
you kind of doing some research and looking at the people that you look up to that have that material abundance that are, this is like an investor too. So I keep seeing the tower card too. That one keeps popping out in the, as I shuffle. So dude, Aquarius, you have the magician twice. Like you are full blown in manifestation mode. And I'm honestly kind of blown away by all these major arcanas. Like they're just flowing. And look, there's tower again. So there's, I definitely feel the tower is definitely like a big aha moment or a big, again, perspective shift. That one just keeps coming out. And I see the star. This is crazy. I'm only really seeing major arcanas in your spread. So let's see what else pops out. There we go. Okay, so we've got Eight of Pentacles. So with this being on top of the Wheel of Fortune, I definitely feel like this is in some way, like some way that you're making money, okay? And the thing that I love about this Eight of Pentacles in this deck is you can see there's this web, okay? There's this spider spinning this web. To me, this is all about like universal forces. It's all about divine timing. It's kind of like a cosmic web, okay? Where you kind of look at, this is all about creation and creativity, right? To make money. So you're, you're utilizing that in some way, shape or form to make money for yourself, Aquarius. And the thing with this card is you've got to kind of look for the clues for the, from the universe and look at the the things like kind of the patterns that are leading you to what you're manifesting okay and that i feel like is going to be key but man this is so interesting let me see what else pops up yep they're seeing those two okay so we've got page of cups okay and we've got the Nine of Swords. So there's the answer right there. Okay, so I was wondering, I was like, okay, so we're all this, there's all this amazing stuff happening right now. Like, where's the block? Like, what's happening? Why is there still, like, maybe some tragedy? Where's the stuckness, right? Because we've got kind of a stuck energy feeling strung up. Um, this is why. It's this Nine of Swords. This is about stress, anxiety, fears kind of like looking for the worst to happen or looking for the other shoe to drop. That's the way I always look at it. So this is what's coming up, Aquarius. This combination is going to be really key. I feel like you've got to control your emotions and your mind, okay? Because cups is about emotions, it's water element. Swords is the air element, which is about thoughts. So this is all the key. I'm big into law of attraction and vibrations and energy and, you know, in correlation with quantum physics. So you've got to understand this, this stress, anxiety that you may be feeling, especially I feel like when it comes to money, if you're feeling this like lack mentality, it's because there's still a little bit, you have to understand when you're thinking all these thoughts about fear, anxiety, like waiting to see what's coming up, waiting for the other shoe to drop, you're like releasing an excess amount of cortisol into your body and it's blocking you from all of this happening okay literally so this is where you've got to start like kind of getting control of your emotions and that's where this page comes in page is like youthful student energy so you've got to get control of your emotions and st and it will that's why it's like this youthful energy because that's going to be the step up to transform to really get this thing moving for you if you're feeling stuck okay here's that's the solution this is that's why that popped out because that's what's needed to transform the situation but i mean you got the magician twice there are so many major arcanas in here it's honestly kind of unbelievable to me so i'm gonna pull one last advice card from angels and see what is coming up. Oh, that one there. Interesting. Okay, so you are safe. 
We've got Ar Archangel Michael saying, I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. This makes complete sense. So Aquarius, what I'm picking up, I feel that is completely why this energy is happening. Like you're feeling guarded, you feel stuck, maybe you're in a situation. This really is a similar reading to Pisces. So you guys, if you have some type of connection to that, you might want to check that one out too, that video. Um, you are safe. You are being protected. And it's like I said too with this higher font, you are being guided and protected by your loved ones by spirit by your own spirit guides i promise you like that is real spirit like if you just kind of give your cares and worries over to your angels your guides give them over to the universe whatever it is you believe in because you are being protected you are and i can see too you probably are in a situation where you are surrounded by lower energies like maybe some toxic people and so this is where your your guides literally are wanting to let you know you are safe. You are being protected. You don't have to look out for turmoil anymore. They've got you, okay? Spirit has got your back. You've got to kind of lean on spirit. Like, don't even pay any attention to the people around you if they're trying to bring you down in some way, shape, or form. I'm going to tell this story really quick. I'm about to close this up, but... Um, if you guys have heard of the crab story, how there's, when there's a bucket of crabs all together, one will try to get out of the bucket and the other crabs will pull it down because when a crab is trying to liberate itself, then the other crabs will pull it down and keep it from reaching that freedom. So I'm feeling that's really relevant in your situation, Aquarius, like whatever you're dealing with. I feel like you are trying to liberate yourself in some way, shape, or form. You're like moving out of this dark night of the soul and really transforming and coming into some type of stability. And I'm telling you, like when you are surrounded by people that are of lower energies, then they will bring you down because they don't want to have to look at themselves. So just understand that, like, don't even pay any attention to them because that's just kind of the nature of transformations that we go through when we're shifting into higher vibrations and different situations that are a, vi a vibrational match to us when we evolve. So it's just a part of the process. It's the contrast you have to go to to create a new situation. Here's these two creation cards, okay? So just keep that in mind, okay? I really hope that helps and bring you guys some clarity and guidance for the week coming up. And with that being said, those are your messages for the week and I will see you guys next week. Take care.